Anyway, we'll come on now to what your biggest act, not necessarily your <laughs> most pretis- prestigious act, but Shawadi Wadi. And again, yeah. you tell me the story that, because that's when we first met, because I worked at Bell Records all those, all those moons ago. And uh, you went in to see Dick Leahy to talk about Shawadi Wadi. Yeah. You didn't have a tape or anything. Nope. Just I had nothing. I walked into Dick Leahy, who was one, and you'd have to agree, one of the best record men. A tremendous track record. In yeah. the country, fantastic. Yeah. I said, you heard about this group who just won New Faces, that was New Faces. I said, called Shawadi Wadi. Dick, in typical fashion, said, what a stupid name that is, he said. <laughs> I wouldn't be interested in them if they come off a talent show. I said, Ooh. I said, they've got an audience. He said, nah, give it a rest. His PA, whose name I can't remember. Diane. Diane, saying her. She, she called over from the other side of the room. A dick, they're really good. Dick goes, what? <laughs> he, she said, I saw them, they're really good. And I said, look, Dick, I'll tell you, I've been to a club up in South Shields near Newcastle. I said, to see them live. I said, the audiences love them. They're just a mock rock and roll act. I said, that's what the audience is like. So Dick said, oh. He said, perhaps I should sign them. I said, what, without hearing them? He said, yeah, why not? So he gave me a deal, then and there on Shawadi Wadi. And I went back to them and I said, I got you a record deal. And they said, what? I said, yeah, so what are we gonna do? And they said, well, we got lots of old songs. I said, no, no, no old songs. I said, you do a song for yourself. You make more money that way. And they wrote this song, Hey Rock and Roll. We recorded it, played it to Dick, Dick said, yeah, it's a smash. <laughs> he put it out big on a great label like Bell, which it was, certainly was. Wow, Shazam happens. Number two in the charts. Number two. Yeah, but you know, it's extraordinary, isn't it? You go in there, you don't play him anything. Yeah. He's not interested. His secretary says they're good. And then he gives you a deal. Yeah, but you see, you couldn't make that up. Absolutely. And I know record men, record men. Obi, Morris Oberstein at CBS, Obi, Dick Leahy, Larry Utah, who started Bell Records in the States. Yeah. These were record men. I understand record men because I may not be a record man, meaning an executive myself in a big company, but I can, can associate myself with record men because that's my life, that's my living. Without great record men, I couldn't have got anywhere. And Unfortunately, this day and age, they don't exist, sadly. And Shawadi already went on to have 17 consecutive 17. top 40 hits. Yeah. And they and people still laugh at them to this day. They go, oh, look at this, Shawadi yeah. Wadi. I say, yeah, 17 hits. But they worked hard. Yeah. They made records that were commercial. commercial. Sure. And it worked. Sure. Yeah, they've had a few. They're still going, but it still had a... They've had a few changes in life. I think there's only one left. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I saw them play a few years ago in Bath, I think it was. Yeah. And I think it was six then. And they were fine. They were still. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 